What are integers? This is from topic 10-1 in Vision Math, grade 6. The integers are part of our real number system. The real numbers start with what we call the natural numbers. Natural numbers are our counting numbers. They are the ones that start with 1, 2, 3, and go on from there. The next set is the whole numbers. Whole numbers take those natural numbers and they add zero to it. The set beyond that is called the integers. Integers are those whole numbers, but they also include their opposites. So where before we would have had just a positive 3, now we would have a negative 3. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, and so on. The next set is what we call the rational numbers. And rational numbers is what you have learned to think of as fractions, where you have a numerator and a denominator, such as one half, two thirds, or even numbers that can be expressed as decimals, for instance, 0.5 or negative 0.5. Integers do not include any numbers between 1 and 0 or between 1 and 2, or between 2 and 3. They are just those whole numbers and their opposites. So here again are our real numbers. We start with our natural numbers. Those are our counting numbers. Then we go to our whole numbers. The whole numbers add 0. Next we have our integers. Our integers take those whole numbers and add their opposites, which give us our concept of negative numbers. The last group here is our rational numbers, which is fractions, any number that can be expressed as a ratio between two numbers, basically a numerator divided by a denominator. So let's look at our vocabulary words for this topic. Our integers are the whole numbers and their opposite, which means if we have 3, we would also have negative 3. If we have 7, we would also have a negative 7. So the opposite is numbers that are the same distance from zero. And we're talking about that as if it's on a number line. So if I have three and negative three, they would be the same distance from zero on a number line. The absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero. And we are going to look at these examples on a number line. First, let's look at how to read these symbols. This first symbol here means negative 3. Negative 3 means that you are, for instance, you owe somebody three dollars, or you dig down three feet, or you are three feet underwater. The next symbol would be the opposite of negative three. So the opposite of negative three would actually be positive three. And the last symbol here is what we call the absolute value. When we put those uh, braces around a number, that means we are looking for the absolute value or the number's distance from zero. Some examples on a number line. If we have a number 
that is right here. That number would be negative 3. Its opposite would be positive 3, right there. And the absolute value of negative 3 is actually 3. What that means is that 3 is actually 3 spaces from 0. The distance from negative 3 to 0 is 3 spaces. Just like the absolute value of positive 3 is also 3. Because the distance from 3 to 0 is 3. Another example. Let's say we have now negative 10. Negative 10 is that number on the number line. Its opposite would be positive 10. And the absolute value of negative 10 would actually be 10. Because the absolute value is the distance of a number from that number to 0. There are 10 spaces between negative 10 and 0, so its absolute value is 10. Let's have you try one. What would this number be on the number line? That number is negative 7. What is the opposite of negative 7? The opposite of negative 7 would be positive 7. And lastly, what is the absolute value of negative 7? Meaning, what is the distance from negative 7 to 0? The absolute value of negative 7 is 7 because the distance is 7 spaces. Have you noticed that the absolute value is always positive? Why do you think that is? An absolute value is always positive because distance is always positive. I cannot travel negative 5 feet. I can only travel 5 feet, which is a positive number. I can't travel negative 22 miles. If I am moving, traveling, it is a positive number. So absolute value is always going to be positive because distance is always positive. Let's look at one last example. What if I have this number right here now? What is that number on the number line? That number is 13. What is the opposite of 13? The opposite of 13 is negative 13. And finally, what is the absolute value of 13? Meaning, how far away from 0 is 13? That's right. The absolute value of 13 is 13. Let's look at a number line. For each point on the number line, we're going to give the integer its opposite and its absolute value. Let's start with a. a is located at negative 7 on the number line. What is the opposite of negative 7? That would be positive 7. And the absolute value of negative 7? Remember, absolute value is always positive because it is the distance from 0. So A is 7 spaces from 0. What about point B? Point B is located at 4 on the number line. Its opposite, that would be negative 4. And the absolute value of negative 4? That would be 4 because B is located 4 spaces from 0. Point C. Point C is located at 0. 
what do you think its opposite and absolute value would be? That's right, the opposite of zero is still zero, and the absolute value of zero is zero, because it is zero spaces from zero on the number line. Now you try D, E, and F. Pause the video, and the answers will be revealed when you hit play again. Check your answers. See if you've got them right. Now go ahead and do your quick check and see how well you understood today's lesson.